Good evening. Um, yeah, happy uh, Tuesday, I guess. Happy Tuesday. <coughs> happy Tuesday. Uh. Yeah. So this morning I woke up very early because I went to bed very early last night and um, I wrote an article about coronavirus and I sent it to kind of national level uh, news magazine online. Okay, you see what happens. I really liked the final product. It's just two pages essay about coronavirus and um, uh, yes we'll see what happens um, basically I wrote the same thing that I say here but uh, I really like the final product that uh, the can I mean the the essay I wrote because the sentences uh, They flew so flawlessly. I mean, the I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm not self-praising or anything. Uh, whatever I do here or anywhere else, I see myself as a messenger. Okay. Uh, yeah. So if it's great work, I mean, it's a very good product. Whether it be a movie or essays, I'm just a messenger. Yeah, so sentences is they flow very flawlessly. Okay, so it, it I really liked the way it came out. So let's see what happens. Yeah, it, national level like it's this is very fierce competition, and I'm not established writer, journalist. I'm not a famous person, so. But I really like the quality of the essay that they came out. <laughs> the way it came out, it, it was, I really liked it. I was very satisfied with that. So it's irrelevant if whether it get published or not. I tried, right? So Okay. I guess I'm kind of ready. We are kind of ready to get back to mathematics, okay? Uh, yeah, well, now that we have brand new whiteboards, so let's see what, get, what we can come up with, okay? So, all right. Okay. Brand new iPod, so <sighs> <All right. sighs> let's make a, some small examples, shall we? Um, something small. Big table, we'll do later, after we get the concept down, all right, so, uh, so, uh, let's just write down the prime gaps, as usual. Uh, yeah, come a small pen. It's a pen that comes for free with this board, so.
Four two four two four six. Okay. So this is in conjunction with uh, gold bus conjecture. Which, I mean gold bus triangle. In gold bus triangle, what we enumerate is uh, prime numbers. But here we enumerate not prime numbers, but prime gaps, okay? Because it's a lot smaller than prime numbers themselves, and it grows slower too, okay? <coughs> so, kinda. Oh yeah, it definitely grows a lot slower than prime numbers themselves, okay? And we express this vertically as well. Okay. <coughs> now. Uh, vertically, we accumulate the prime gaps. It's a diagonal fashion addition, okay? You add diagonal, then you write the sum right here, okay? Like this. Zigzag pattern. Now again, <clears throat> so when prime gave is six between two adjacent primes, prime gave six. So if you go backward, we are subtracting 6 from the next prime, right? And then you get, retrieve the previous prime, all right? So that's what this minus means. It's the horizontal reverse movement, okay? Now. You are adding my you are adding minus six and this accumulation of primes. Okay, that's how you calculate the next ones vertically. Yeah, my eyeballs are moving like a ping pong ball. Okay. We're gonna do some stretching pretty soon because my lower back is a little bit sore. All right, so. Hey. Let's align it correctly. <coughs> okay. Now, 
You don't need to worry about negative numbers, okay? You're only interested in positive numbers, so. <clears throat> if you go reverse direction horizontally, okay? Uh, so you have minus four here, okay? So you have 4 and minus 4, 0, 2, 6, just minus 4 to all these guys. Right, okay. Now, you're subtracting 2. Adding minus two to these guys. <coughs> okay. And adding minus four to to these guys. And adding minus two to the rest. And adding minus four. Okay. Now, adding minus two. Adding minus two. Finally, adding minus 2. And to align these guys, 6 and 28. Okay. Alright. So that's what it looks like. <sighs> So what it seems is this, <coughs> let's think about this for a second. <coughs> uh, I guess we can continue to construct this, huh? I, it, that's what it seems, well, let's do it. My guess is it's going to collide at some point. Okay, okay. Uh, no. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> you can minus two. Uh, wait a minute. <clears throat> uh -huh. Minus two, zero. Two the six eight <clears throat> twelve sixteen. Wait a minute. Eight twelve. Fourteen, eighteen, twenty-six. Okay. <clears throat> what it seems is this: uh, we cannot express this in a two-dimensional fashion. Okay, it becomes three-dimensional. Why? Because each column has 
its own triangle. Alright, so it becomes something like a cube. I see. Okay, well, that's fine. It's gonna take some time, but uh, <clears throat> we can still construct something. Okay. okay. So we are going reverse way. What if we go forward way? Kind of wondering what it would look like. Then can we construct it in a two-dimensional fashion? Maybe. Why do they differ? Mm. Yeah, this one requires some thinking. It's gap gapular matrix, all right. By the way, um, I'm sorry if I'm talking gibberish here, uh, but I'm sorry I cannot slow down. It's getting too late. So after I found so find something more definite, then I will review it again. Okay, that's all I can tell you. Okay, now we'll let we'll take a break, and before we go to a break, break we're gonna do some stretching. Okay. I am very hungry now, but we'll do some stretching, okay? So, yeah. Okay. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> After break, yeah, we we'll try to go forward, okay? So. <coughs> All right. All right, that's good. <coughs> I'll be right back. Oh.
you know, that stress wasn't enough. Let's do some kicking, shall we? Because, uh, yeah. That stress, kicking gives us very good stress, okay? Oh. Sorry, I'm kind of low energy because I'm hungry, okay? So. Yeah. <sighs> Let's get back to uh, partial gold box triangle that kind of motivated <clears throat> us to do this, okay, so uh, yeah We have this prime gap 14 between 13 and 127, okay? And G1 said it's just adding one to each of them, okay? The one one four one two eight has two adjacent gold box number in row one, okay? So what we need to do is between one one four and one two eight, their even numbers are missing. 116, 118, 120, 122, 124, 126. And we found that, okay, if we, we can find all those missing gold box numbers in the prior triangle, then that's the proof of gold box conjecture, okay? <coughs> yeah. So the way we did it is this. You have prime gap 14, okay? We are trying to express even numbers less than 14 in terms of addition or subtraction of prime gap numbers. Okay? That's what we're trying to do. <clears throat> so, you got 2 and 2 plus 2, 4 and 2 plus 2 plus 2, 6 Right? But that wasn't good enough. Because <clears throat> next one become 10. 8 is missing. So how do we make 8? <clears throat> uh, we better write this accumulation. Prime of... I'm sorry. I... I didn't quite show you the full picture here. Sorry about that. Uh, we need to write down the accumulation of this. All right. So we have uh, four. I mean, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, four, six, and then ten, twelve. Okay. <coughs> There's six yet. <coughs> it seems to me the only thing that's relevant is going backward. Okay. It seems that's the only thing that's relevant. Okay. Yeah, going forward, I don't think it means anything, really. Yeah. Okay, good. So, 14 itself, we have 0, okay? So, it goes like... We just replicate, right? 2, 4, 6, 10, 12, 16. Okay? And on and on and on, okay, so. But 16, we don't have to look at 16. We can look at 12, yeah. Because we, are, we just need complete cover from 0 to 12, so. Eight is missing. The way we got eight is we subtract minus four, right? So one twenty become one sixteen, and then add four. So one sixteen becomes one twenty, which is the same thing, and then add two. Add two. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. So it it seems to me <coughs> actually it relevant that we keep adding these numbers even if it's way bigger than what we need because as we go to the left we will subtract them okay one by one okay okay like we needed <coughs> 122 right we can get 122 by uh, just adding 4 here I mean 2 here so 126 and then minus four. Okay. 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 <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we are still designing algorithm for this. Okay. <clears throat> So algorithm looks like this. So it will take a break person, all right? So uh, you have <coughs> n prime gap, all right? And then you have n by n matrix, <coughs> okay? And then um, you copy over the accumulation row of this prime gaps. You copy that over, and from there, you subtract the the previous prime gap and then previous 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 okay 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 so for each column you need brand new matrix so yeah the matrix become three dimensional all right no problem The only
only thing we need to prove is that uh, given whatever prime gap there may be, can we always find uh, in n by n matrix below that prime gap, uh, can we always always find <coughs> complete coverage of even integers? up to that prime gap minus two. Okay, then we are done. Okay, so. Okay, if that seems to be what we need to do. All right. <coughs> uh, this one problem that one example that gave us hard, very hard time last weekend. So let me look at that. Yeah, let's forget about what we did this weekend, okay? Because it doesn't quite seem necessary that we go into that direction. We are taking slightly different direction this time around, all right? So, okay. All right. We look at these two guys, okay? When prime gap is or, or this guy, uh, yeah, maybe this, I want something challenging, so, um, we'll look at this guy, okay, yeah, <coughs> two on one and two to three, okay, that'd be interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll take five minutes, okay, so. <coughs>
Okay. Uh, not sure if I took Tom's or not. Probably I did. Um, uh, because I want to start drinking a little bit. Okay. So. Uh, This brand new whiteboard is a very strong magnet, so I, I like it. And uh, so, um, I cannot guarantee you anything, I cannot promise anything whether we will ever prove gold box conjecture or not. I don't know, okay? But I think it's a good hobby and also good back burner project that you resort to, I mean, come back to every now and then. Yeah, we're not going to miss, miss anything. We'll talk about something else in the meanwhile as well, okay, as we go along. Okay? And uh, because it's this very interesting project, all right? So, and mathematicians have proved many, many different things about prime numbers. So it is possible to prove something in mathematics, I mean, prime number theory, okay? So, yeah. Okay, so we have two one one and two two three. <sighs> and its prime gap is <coughs> twelve. And the G1 number is, you just add one, okay, so. You can barely see it, huh? Ah, that's fine. Now. I just write in black, okay, so that you can see it. And our uh, prime gap accumulation. All right. Uh, is so in the previous uh, matrix that we're going to consider, consider we're going to call it prime gap matrix okay or cumulus matrix whatever you name it all right so um we just recycle those names because the matrices we have constructed so far Many of them didn't quite work. Okay, so we just keep recycling those names and abandon the previous or attempted matrices. All right, so uh, so what you do is this. Okay, in this row, I mean in this column. All right, you write down, you copy over prime gap accumulation column. I'm pointing at those numbers with my toe. We don't need to go very far, all right? So this, this should be enough. <coughs> now, let me look up 
No, I don't even need to look up anything. Okay. Um, okay. Previous, previous two prime numbers, 199. One nine seven. All right. Okay. Now this vodka is giving me a little bit more energy. Can we talk a little bit about coronavirus <coughs> and also AIDS virus in general? Um, yeah, some doctors nowadays say uh, smoking makes you vulnerable to virus in general. I, they used to say that before, flu, cold, cold virus, rhinovirus, which is co common cold. And influenza virus because it has to be re respiratory okay so if you smoke cigarettes yeah you because you're long so yeah you get lung infection more easily yeah that kind of makes sense it does okay <laughs> as long as do you do healthy diet and exercise even more than compensates for that okay so and look at me, I never get sick, okay? So, yeah, I smoke cigarettes three times a but I never get sick, okay? So. How about people who do sugar and fat, who never exercise, but who also never smoke cigarettes and never drink alcohol? Maybe it kind of compensates for that too, okay? Maybe people like me who smoke cigarettes and drink alcohol, maybe I'm not healthier than people who, like President Trump, like, uh, Secretary Mike Pompeo. I don't know about Secretary Pompeo, but President Trump, he never smoked cigarette, he never drink alcohol, uh, but uh, he doesn't do exercise and he eat a lot of sugar and fat. Okay, so, and he seems to be healthy, right? I mean, he may not look as good as I do because I'm fit, right? He is, uh, has this kind of overweight belly, right? Overweight stomach, but um, other than that, he looks great. I mean, even he, with his overweighted stomach, as long as he hides it, like Santa Claus, for example. Santa Claus has pop belly, right? But he looks great, Santa Claus, right? If President Trump, as long as he hides it, he looks great, right? Yeah, overweight people, they are beautiful too. I get it, okay. And they are so healthy as well. And maybe I'm not healthier than they are <laughs> because I smoke cigarettes and drink alcohol, okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's different lifestyle, I get it, All right, so. Okay. Yeah, nobody's perfect, right? Yeah, I smoke cigarettes, drink alcohol. Yeah, I'm no better than sugar fetish, I guess. That's fine. Okay. Nah. Because I have so many friends who really cares about me who are sugar fetists okay overweight yeah some of my best friends are like that okay so okay now nah. 
So continuous coverage because prime gap, I mean, yeah, prime gap is twelve. We need con, we need even numbers less than twelve. All all of them, okay? So we have two, four, six, eight is missing, right? And ten. We don't need twelve. We just need up to ten, okay? How do we find 8? Uh, let's look. Going backwards, okay? So we have to search backwards. Uh, negative 12, okay? So minus 10. Negative 12. Negative 12. Minus 10. Maybe it will help us uh, to enumerate the prime gaps somewhere. Yeah, but that is giving me some because alcohol has some calorie. Okay, so it's giving me some energy. All right. Yeah, so uh, let's talk about China a little bit. No country is perfect, okay? No country is perfect. So America is not perfect, China is not perfect, and one fault, one uh, negative, uh, undesirable tradition, in my opinion, that China has is this eating of very strange animals, okay? So, and it does cause some problem. Okay, and many scientists they think that uh, coronavirus came from eating bats. Okay, so that's how it's their uh, theory. Okay, yeah, Chinese people they eat strange animals, okay, wild animals, and sometimes they import this endangered species to eat them. They should stop doing that. Okay. If, if they're going to eat some animals, they should farm them. But at the same time, they should not eat strange animals. All right, like bats or mice. I don't think that's safe practice, okay? And when it comes to sushi, uh, I mean, in Bible, they say, uh, do not eat raw meat. Always cook your meat before you eat it. Okay. Bible says that, right? And also, Bible says do not eat unclean animals. Okay. And Bible also says uh, do not commit sodomy. I'm just quoting from Bible. Okay. So, and whenever somebody violates this biblical commands, like Chinese eating unclean animals, or San Francisco, California, some guys uh, violating biblical law against sodomy. Yeah, Chinese got coronavirus and San Francisco male LGBT members got AIDS, right? So, and Japanese, they eat raw fish, Koreans too, sushi, and on, against the biblical teaching that you have to cook your meat, so they eat raw fish, so they get parasites okay so biblical teaching seems to make seem to be correct all right it seems to be a recurring pattern that when so, in some culture uh if people violate some biblical doctrine uh, they get sick okay that seems to be the case okay so 
one th one of many things I wrote in the essay I submitted to National Magazine is that uh, because I kind of realized that I'm kind of experiencing the similar situation in back in 1980s, uh, you know, when AIDS came, early 1980s in San Francisco, California. Uh, that's how homophobia began because male LGBT members, they are the one who got this AIDS virus first. Okay, that's how the scientists discovered about HIV, AIDS. Okay, before that incident in um, San Francisco, early 1980s. California, USA. Yeah, those LGBT male groups. The word AIDS, HIV didn't even really exist. Okay, it was not their fault. They didn't know. Just like we cannot fault Chinese for coronavirus, they didn't know. Okay. So there are some not in Alaska. I, I didn't quite experience that in up here in Alaska, but. Down in lower 48, uh, some Asians are being targeted for hate crime because they look like Chinese. Okay, so we are seeing the same situation that happened like three decades ago. Yeah, LGBT members, even though they don't have any AIDS virus, they were targeted, right? Homophobia, right? Now, <clears throat> after this coronavirus situation, Asians in America are being targeted from this Asianophobia or xenophobia. Okay? So, yes, yeah, homophobia, yeah, and Asianophobia, now that, I mean, I'm not personally experiencing it because Alaska, we are very neighborly people, but down low 48 or England, Asians are being targeted for they are being blamed for coronavirus. So I, I can kind of understand what uh, LGBT members back in early 1980s what they have have been through. Okay, so th that's something I one of many things I wrote in that essay. I don't hate LGBT members. I don't. Okay, I'm pro people. All right. It's just that I disagree with their ideologies. Like, I disagree with Chinese tradition that they eat these strange animals. I disagree with that. Okay, but I don't hate Chinese people. All right. I don't hate LGBT people. I just disagree with the ideologies they subscribe to. That's all. Okay? Because some of the best people I've met are LGBT members, okay? We, we disagree, but we can still be friends. Alright, so. Okay? Okay, let's take five minutes break, okay? And uh, let's go, go ahead with this. Now we got the algorithm down. Okay? Because I've been looking for this for several days by now. We got it, okay, we got the algorithm down. We are making ad advancement here, okay. Improvement, day by day, okay. As long as we make improvement day by day, we're not gonna give up on this, we're not gonna leave this. Why? Because this is interesting. It keeps entertaining us. Why? Because we are learning something more about it. It's not like we are stuck somewhere. No. We are making continuous improvement. Okay, so yeah. that that's what matters. It makes us happy. Yeah.
Let's take five minutes. Very interesting. Okay. All right. So, why did I decide to uh, try to publish in, in a national magazine as opposed to local? Well, because I already submitted an essay about Corona situation <coughs> to a local newspaper. So I cannot submit the same subject twice. Okay. And national media venue, I did try before and they didn't accept it. Because uh, I'm not a famous person, so I'm not in that l level yet, at least. But uh, I just kept, ran into this online magazine, and it says it accepts submission. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, let's try it again. I didn't quite want to try again because what if I write this essay and they reject it? Time wasted, right? But uh, I have many friends and they appreciate my writing skill and they express their observation to me that maybe I'm wasting my talent okay writing skill so I heeded their advice okay so 
yeah. Because I, I, I give it another try, right? That's why I did what I did. Okay, so yeah, we'll see what happens. It, and I was very satisfied with the essay that came out. I mean, that what it, how it came out. Okay, so it doesn't really matter whether they're acceptable or, or not because I was very happy with that, the result. So and I saved it. So just like my movie. All right. Yeah, I was very, very, I still am very satisfied with the final product and whether it gains mainstream popularity or not, it's irrelevant. I watch my movie and I enjoy it. To me, that's enough. All right. so. It's in YouTube, okay? It's, uh... And some people liked it, okay? That's, you know, I call that a success. I mean, I didn't make any money, but it cost me money. How much money? Well, I bought this semi-professional camera, Panasonic, which is a fantastic camera, 24P, right? Uh, Quasi-professional, mini DV. That cost me all like something like 2,700, okay? so. And to come here from Los Angeles to Mojave Desert for several months, gas money, hotel money, well, not food money. Food, even if I I was in LA, okay, so, yeah, even if I just stay in my efficiency at studio apartment, I still eat food, so that's not additional cost. But gas, hotel, several months over the weekends not that much right so the total production cost would be something like uh, maybe five thousand dollars right yeah. but it was worth it because i really enjoyed that time and yeah i called it a success because i was happy i still am okay so yeah and it was nothing immoral no so it's righteous happiness, we call that a success. Okay. In humanology, all right? Yeah, it has nothing to do with money, power, SAX. No, it's not. It's about righteous happiness. Okay, that's what success is. That's how we define success in humanology. Okay? So. Okay. Let's go ahead and do it. <clears throat> Let me go get at my blanket, all right, to warm my legs, my feet. I was kind of debating about it. <laughs> yeah. So I read the news today, like, uh, there's this uh, Navy ship in Guam, and a lot of sailors there uh, got coronavirus. So yeah, it makes sense that uh, they keep the social distance, social, social distancing. Yeah, that makes sense because, yeah. It makes sense. Okay.
yeah, we still don't see any eight, right? That's what we we're looking for. Okay, so we don't we don't need all these negative numbers. Okay, when it goes negative number, I forget it, right? Yeah. Now minus two. Okay. Yeah, we, we got eight there. That's good. So it seems to be the question is We are given some prime gap, right? <clears throat> Between two uh, prime numbers, and we look at the first prime number, and uh, we draw out this accumulation of prime gaps, right, in the column, and we look back, 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 all right, the previous, previous, previous prime gaps and we subtract set subtraction fashion okay successively okay and can we if we do that keep doing that can we always <coughs> find the continuous coverage of even numbers up to this prime gap minus two okay so can we find all the uh, even numbers which is less than this prime gap this nth prime gap okay so that's the question we need to answer okay All right. yeah we'll take a break real soon okay Yeah, so last weekend I was kind of intimidated by these professional mathematicians and their achievement. But it was very quite impressive what they have achieved, proved, published. So I was intimidated. That was the word I was looking for. Intimidated. Not scared, but intimidated. Alright, so. But let's not worry about professional mathematicians, okay? Let them do what they do, okay? So we'll do our own things, okay? Let them do their own things, professional mathematician, okay? Here they go to conference, they have lectures, whatever, right? Publish, whatever. Yeah, we'll do our own things here, okay? So. Let's just complete these gaps here. Uh, just to see some pattern if there is, right? Uh, okay. Kind of pretty, right? Yeah, it's brand new whiteboard and very pretty. I'll take a picture of this.
I'm kind of wondering. Two one one is forty sevens prime number. Okay, <clears throat> so we have this gap filler matrix. I'm kind of wondering what kind of even integer coverage if this forty seven by forty seven matrix would give us. All right, it's kind of curious. Because uh, one concept we came up with is that maximal concept cover is maximal. Okay, we only need to prove that the cover is maximal is bigger than or equal to this uh, prime gap minus two. Okay, because uh, because that seems to be uh, not a tight inequality, but very loose inequality. So we are kind of thinking that that's quite easy to prove. Okay. So. Okay. I think we have a game plan here, all right? And. Uh, Let's do some systematic enumeration method and just do some lab work, labor intensive stuff, and try to observe some patterns. Right? It's like exper mathematical experiments. All right? We just enumerate numbers systematical fashion. And then we observe parent and try to understand and come up with hypothesis and later on prove it. All right. So. Good. We have a game plan here. Okay. Very good. Yeah. We're going to go back to the basics. We'll deal with smaller numbers. Okay. Because we have this brand new gap filler matrix and then we know we have algorithm here now and then look at the maximal continuity continuity maximal coverage of even numbers in this gap below matrix okay very good excellent all right very good okay yeah it will take five minutes break okay so uh We are making progress, all right, day by day. Excellent. Very good. Let's take five minutes. Okay. All right.
right, let's see what you got here. Uh, what we got here? Ah, oh, we, we need to get it out of the whiteboard, huh? Okay, no problem. Yeah, well. Uh, yeah. We use this guy, okay? So, we're gonna just erase this guy. So how are you doing? You doing good? I hope. You're having, having a. Well, I hope you're happy and righteous. <laughs> No matter what you do in your home nowadays, huh? Uh, I hope you are happy and righteous. Okay? Guess what I can tell you? Righteous happiness, success, okay. So. <sighs> oh, it's cranberry, okay. So, yeah, every culture have good and bads, okay? China, they're fantastic of, regarding this uh, martial art. Japanese, yeah, they're great in martial arts, okay? For Japanese, they eat sushi, and Chinese, they eat strange animals, right? And yeah, those are bad tradition, okay? Uh, sushi is good, but... If you cook it, all right, because the raw fish, uh, they have those parasites. Even if it's ocean sea fish, okay. So as long as they cook it, then they're fine. Okay, they just need to heat it up to kill all the germs in there. What can I tell you? Because I read the news. Okay, ocean fish they also have parasites. Come on, you just cook it and kill it. Okay. No problem. All right. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Uh. Prime gaps, huh? Okay. Okay. Let's look at this guy, okay? And uh Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at the whiteboard back there. Um, uh, okay. So we just replicate that. Uh, 
Let's switch this guy out, okay? Come on. I need some pens. Ugh. Real pens. Not the small pens that come up with this whiteboard. Come on. Give me real pens. They, they sell with some price. Let's look at the coverage. <sighs> thick pen, I love thick, dark pens like this. All right, two, four, six, ten. Because background is wide, right? So to make some contrast, that's how you can recognize numbers. Okay. All right. So we are looking at the complete coverage of uh, even integers, okay? Eight is missing, right? Two, four, six, eight. So if you subtract four, minus two, zero, two, six. So it doesn't quite give you coverage. You cannot find eight? Really? That's a little bit of a surprise. Hmm. Okay, I mean, not that we need it, but... Uh, we need 8 way later on, okay? In 34th prime gap, that's where we need 8, alright? We don't need 8 for a long while because 34th prime gap happens to be 10. So 34th prime gap, that's where we need 8. Okay, so that's fine, but it's a little bit of a surprise. So let's make the number bigger. Okay, so because. <clears throat> it's not quite giving us what we need, what we want to see. Two 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 four two four two four six. Maybe somebody can make a song out of this prime gap or prime number sequence, okay? Or maybe pi number, okay, three point one five. Maybe somebody can write a music about that. Two 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 four two four two four. <clears throat> six, two, six, four, two, four, something like that, whatever. Yeah, but the thing with this gap filler matrix, our latest gap filler matrix, is that uh, each column has its own matrix, okay? So it's a three-dimensional object, all right? So... Uh, so we, we don't want to go too far, all right? So I just want to find eight, all right? So we'll stop at the very first occurrence of six, okay? 
two 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 four two four six. Okay. Prime gas request. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. <sighs> Boy. Let's do one more, okay? Let's make it ten. Let's make it even. Next number two. Okay. Okay. Is it time to take a break? Yeah, we'll take a break real soon, okay? My voice is running out. My voice is so... F my vocal cord is so fragile. You know what? Let's take a break now, okay? I cannot continue to talk for more than 15 minutes. It really, really annoys me that my vocal cord is so fragile. I cannot talk continuously more than 15 minutes. It really, really, really annoys me. All right. Uh, what can I do?
Okay. Uh, let's take a break from mathematics, all right? Uh, let's give some appreciation, appreciation to our mothers, okay? Yeah, in Alaska, mothers, they're fantastic because in this cold winter, they take their children out so that they exercise, okay? They're fantastic mothers, Alaska mothers, okay? Yeah, I saw some of them in the frozen lake when I went out to lunch. Because they are strangers, I didn't have a chance to express my appreciation and also this coronavirus situation, whatever, social distancing. Yeah, but I, I admire them, okay? This mother's job is the single most important job in the world. It's, it's about next generation, you know? continuity of humanity yeah so Alaska mothers they are really cool people okay so they take their children out in this winter Alaska winter even in this coronavirus situation okay they're fantastic mothers God bless them okay. and something else to talk about yeah, I smoke cigarettes, I drink alcohol, so my lung is clogged with this cigarette smoke, dirt, dust. And I drink alcohol, so my liver is clogging up with all this alcohol, right, to detoxicate. But I exercise. Exercise is like running, especially you breathe in fresh air if you out run outside, which I recommend, right? If you're allowed to in your state, right? In your city, okay? Yeah, exercise is like cleaning out your inside of your body because you're, blo you're breathing in fresh air if you run outside. And also blood pumping, so your blood scaring the world of waste okay and drink a lot of water i would wherever i go i have water bottle with me yeah plastic water bottles because it's light unbreakable cheap i reuse my plastic water bottle all the time okay i carry it everywhere i recycle it okay yeah <clears throat> so if there's some in alaska it's safe but Let's say I happen to travel somewhere and if there's some mass shooter with a gun, I'll throw him my water bottle. Why? I'm not going to throw him my car keys, <laughs> my cell phone. No, I'll throw him my water bottle. Okay, why? Because it's cheap, right? Cheaper, easier to replace. Distract him, okay, and then I will run after him, and yeah, just some fiction, short, short story. But uh, yeah, I always carry water bottle with me, okay. So, yeah, so some of the other things that I said in this essay this morning, so I woke up very early, okay, so. Before I went to work, is that uh, yeah? <clears throat> it's all about, all about plumbing. It's all about circulation, blood circulation, plenty of water. Okay, then your immune system will become very strong because you get not nourished with nutrients, oxygen, minerals. So when it comes to diet, okay, if you eat sugar and fat, as long as you exercise. You'll be healthy, but your stomach has limited volume. Okay, if you eat sugar and fat, there will no room to wrap, no no room left for healthy food like fibrous, fibrous food like grains, vegetables, fruits. Okay, so if you eat 
sugary, fatty food, you'll be already full in your stomach. So you, you will not be able to eat healthy food because you're already full. Your stomach is full. Okay. Your healthy food is vegetables, fruits, grains, beans, lean meat. All right. That's what your body needs. Okay. Yeah, I do, I do drink alcohol, smoke cigarette. Okay. But I exercise. It does not fill my stomach. Alcohol is liquid. Okay. That's it. Go away. Right. Yeah. Alcohol clogging my liver. Cigarette smoking clogging my long i do exercise so they wash your way and i do drink a lot of water okay they will go away okay so you these doctors okay i mean most doctors are good but most doctors also also are mistaken in that uh it's not cigarette and alcohol that's very bad for you it's sugar and fat that's what's bad for you okay so american doctors including president trump's employee doctors okay they don't know what they're talking about why they are so busy you know go to medical school what it takes to go to medical school you have to take calculus physics chemistry biochemistry and they go to medical school and then internship residence residency whatever they're so busy so they don't have, ever have time to think on their own they are not quite scientists oh oh yeah md phd oh again too busy to publish book publish papers and books and interviews and whatnot okay taking care of their patients it's just too busy to think just they they are not really scientists Okay, they're not independent thinkers, these MDs, MD, PhDs. So I, I don't really, uh, I mean, I appreciate what they do. You know, okay, I've met some good doctors, medical students, pre meds. Okay, they're good people, but I don't, I do not rely on their advices. Why? Because I know better. All of them combined. Yeah. I mean, they're cool people, I need them, I take advices from doctors, nurses, okay? Yeah, they're cool people, but uh, uh, I don't just believe in what they say, 100% of the time, no, no, no. MD, MD, PhD from Harvard, Yale, from Stanford. That does not carry any weight on me. It doesn't mean anything. It does not mean anything at all. Why? Because if you are MD, PhD, PhD, if you are employee doctor of Mr. Trump, it, it doesn't ca not carry any weight on me. Why? Because uh, they didn't have enough time to think. They're just too busy. Right? They just blame tobacco and c cigarette, <laughs> tobacco and alcohol for everything that went wrong, right? That's their ignorance. Okay, that's their blind spot. American doctors. Okay, yeah. They're not independent thinkers. Okay, so. Maybe some of them are, okay, but most of them, I don't think so. Okay, so, yeah. I mean, all these states in America, including even Utah, of LDS. I've met some LDS people who are really smart, young people, old people, okay. But Utah, oh, they voted for this ex-Massachusetts governor, Mitt Romney. What was that about? be their senator just because he's LDS 
Mormon, huh? Yeah, Mormonism is cool, okay? Yeah, I appreciate Mormonism. Mormon Bible, I have one, okay? Yeah. But, uh... Doctors. Why are we all of a sudden talking about LDF? Lost, lost train of my thought, okay. So, I read this news articles, okay, like uh, there are this Belarus and uh, Turkey Manistan, okay, that kind of define this global trend of Corona scare. Yeah, I appreciate that, okay, so. Oh yeah, doctors, they do this plastic surgery, right? Yeah, like Mr. Trump's, Mr. Trump's, <laughs> Mr. Trump's, Mr. President Trump's two daughters and his wife, yeah, first lady, Melania Trump, and his ex-wives. I think they were, most of them went through this uh, chest augmentation surgery. And I think President Trump paid for all of those surgeries. Okay, and he also uh, got in bed with uh, Ms. Stormy Daniels, right? And she also seemed to have had this chest augmentations, plastic cosmetic elective surgeries, and perhaps President Trump paid for it. Okay, so doctors, they do horrible things like that. The silicone injection on females chest and also yeah genital mutilation yeah gender transformation surgery and Utah outlawed illegalized this conversion therapy to convert LGBT people to straight people psychotherapists, psychologists, not MDs, maybe psychiatrists who are MD, MDs, okay. I don't think, I don't think there's any harm in this conversion therapy from LGBT to straightness. I don't think there's any harm in there because what's more harm is this transgender surgery. They didn't illegalize transgender surgery in Utah. Yeah, the home of LDS, Mormonism, okay, Utah. They illegalized LGBT to straight, heterosexual, homosexual to heterosexual therapy. That's non-invasive. It's just counseling, psychologists, psychiatrists, therapists, just counseling, non-invasive. They illegalize that. Why? I don't think there's anything special about Utah or LDS or Mormons. Okay, just, just, let's just go along with the trend. Pro-gayism, right? I am anti-gayist. I am against LGBTism. Not people, but ism, ideology, okay? I think they're very, very toxic poisonous ideologies. Yeah. Ketopiosism, sugar fetishism, LGBTism, ultra interracialism, like ethnic men marrying beautiful, slender, young, fertile Caucasian ladies. I'm against that. Marijuanaism, I'm against that too. Okay? But Utah people, you know, I've been to Utah Zion Park. Yeah, LDS people, Mormons, Utah Okay, they voted for Senator Mitt Romney to represent them just because he's LDS Mormon. 
He is the very first governor in Massachusetts who legalized gay marriage. He signed it. And Utah, they legalized, they illegalized, they banned the conversion therapy from hetero, uh, homosexual to heterosexual. That conversion therapy, there's no invasive. But in Utah, it is not illegal to surgery, this gender transformation surgery from straight man, straight woman to become transgender. That gender transformation surgery, genital mutilation. I'm pretty sure that's not illegal in Utah. I'm pretty sure it, it is still legal. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry to pick on Utah, okay? But it's not such Utah. Yeah, doctors, they do horrendous things, okay? They prescribe you drugs, opium, opioid, I mean, like Michael Jackson, Marilyn Monroe, sleeping pills. They think medicine is solution for everything. Surgery is solution for everything. We do need medicine, we do need surgery, right? But doctors, they are biased. Okay, they are paid by insurance companies. Okay, and also they are paid by pharmaceutical in industries. Right, so they think surgery and medicine is solution for everything. Right, many of them, not all of them. Right, and they blame tobacco, cigarette, alcohol. All I have to disagree with them. These doctors medical doctor mds md phds because i don't think they know what they're talking about okay they don't know what they're talking about all right because they're afraid they're afraid of mainstream majority americans president trump secretary mike pompeo who are obese but they're in power right and American, majoritarian mainstream Americans, yeah, they're overweight, right? So they don't want to say anything that would offend Americans. So they never point out sugar and fat. They pick on minorities today, Americans, minority Americans, yeah, alcohol and tobacco. They are picking on the small guys. They are bowing down to sugar and fat. This majoritarian, this big ideology, tobacco, alcohol, minority, to so pick on them. Right? So, these doctors that you admire, women, oh, American girls, they love doctors, right? Security, money, right? Yeah, doctors, they are the most popular males among American females. Because they have the money, right? Yeah. I don't think doctors are good readers of materials, okay? L look what they say. Oh, don't do smoking cigarette. Don't do alcohol, don't drink alcohol, okay? But sugar and fat, yeah, that's fine. Why? Because that's, that's like a mainstream majority and it's big ideology, sugar fatism. So yeah, no, no, I will back down, okay? Yeah, eat all sugar, fat you want, but don't do tobacco and cigarette and alcohol. Then you become too obese. No problem. Yeah, we'll surgery, plastic surgery, liposuction. You become obese again, like balloon, 
following up again. No problem, come again. Repeat business. We'll do live construction again. Yeah, you are not satisfied with your as a female. Is your chest, female chest too big? No, no problem, we'll reduce it. Is it too small? Oh, no problem, we inject some silicone, plastics, plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery. Oh, yeah, repeat business, come, come, yeah, 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 eat sugar, fat, get sick, come again, come again, get sick, sugar, fat, plastic surgery, yeah, come again, 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 repeat business, yeah, when you come again and again, it's good for my business as a doctor, because I'm making big money. <coughs> yeah, that's what I care about. That's why I became a doctor, money. Okay, yeah, insurance company behind me. All girls in the world, they want me. I'm a doctor. They trust me. Americans, oh, I'm NIH, National Institute of Health. I'm President Trump's employee. They believe whatever I say. I'm, I'm, don't worry, I'm a doctor, MD. I'm also MD, PhD from whatever, right? Yeah. 100,000 Americans will die by August. I'm the doctor. President Trump's employee. Power, money, power, fame. I'm on national television. I am enjoying this. Money, power, and fame. I like this. It's exponential growth. Nobody can stop it. Even President Trump listens to me. I'm more powerful than President Trump. Because he doesn't understand science. I'm a medical doctor. I know science. President Trump, he got no choice but believing in what I say. I'm in control now. Money, power, fame. Yeah. I like this. I'm acting. It's short, short film, short story, okay? So, doctors, yeah, you know, I mean, I know many doctors who are really good doctors, okay? But some doctors, they are not very reliable, okay? What I'm saying is, yeah, they are good doctors. I'm sure most doctors are good. Just like anybody else. Good cops, bad cops. How many get bad cops are there? Maybe 1%, right? Yeah, maybe only 1% of doctors are bad. Okay. What I'm saying is, you should not just... believe in what this doctor says just because just because he's a doctor okay you just give some benefit of doubt some skepticism of doubt yes even if he's a present doctor mba Lawyer, celebrity, Hollywood, journalism, New York Times, Washington Post. Even if they are big figure, like MD, PhD, scientist, Einstein, Sigmund Freud, or Karl Marx, President Trump, President Barack Obama, or Lady Gaga, Miss Ellen DeGeneres or Mr. Anderson Cooper, Mr. Uh, Hollywood, 
assim, ó. Miss Billy Eilish. Mr. Jerry Kushner. Miss. Mrs. Miss Ivanka Trump. She didn't change her last name, did she? <laughs> I think Miss Ivanka Trump, okay. I think she had plastic surgery, this female chest augmentation. I, I think he, her father paid for it. <laughs> That's your present right there, okay. And he let her marry this acting man. Okay. That's your present that you are so proud as a Caucasian Republican. Okay. He let his daughter marry acting man. Alright. Their daughter. Miss Ivana Trump and Mr. Jerry Kushner, they had a daughter, right? She's not white. She's beautiful, I get it, but she's not Caucasian, okay? So, okay? Are you a white supremacist, neo Nazist in America? Do you still support President Trump? He let this happen. He's, he has two blonde Caucasian daughters. One of them married to ethnic men. And their daughters, their daughter, yeah, uh, Miss Ivanka Trump and Mr. Jerry Kushner, their daughter, she's not white. She's brown. Why? Because Mr. Jerry Kushner, he's not a white guy. He's an ethnic man. Right? And Mr. President Trump, the other daughter, Miss Tiffany Trump. He's also dead. She's also dating ethnic man. Okay. President Trump, what is what is he doing? Okay. If you are white supremacist and neo nazist if you are still supporting President Trump, he could not even prevent his two own. Caucasian blonde hair daughters, white skin daughters, from marrying or dating ethnic guys. Okay? So do you still support him? American to American. Are you a white supremacist? Are you a neo nazist in America? Look, you may be white. Most likely you are white, right? You're Caucasian, male, most likely. I'm not Caucasian. I'm not white. I'm Asian, right? But I do not mess with Caucasian, young, slender, Fertile females. Why? Uh, because I want Caucasian race to be preserved. I want to see blonde, blue-eyed, white skin, red lips, or brunette, white skin, green-eyed, blue-eyed, white skin, or red hair, pink-skinned, red lips. Because they're beautiful, I appreciate. I I agree with you that Caucasian race needs to be preserved. Not only that, I go even further. I believe in preservation and protection of African American race too, because they're very special people, and they're also very beautiful people. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, Asians, Jews, Arabs, Indians. Okay. So, I don't like this melting pot theme. Okay. I want diversity to be preserved. I want blacks to be blacks, white to be whites, Asian to be Asians, Jews to be Jews, Arabs to be Arabs. 
Indians to be Indians. Okay. I also want man to be manly, woman to be womanly. I don't want anything in between. No. I want male to be male, female to be female. That's why I'm anti gayist. I want diversity of gender. Gender specificity. I want male to be male, masculine, manly. I want female to be female, feminine, and womanly. Okay? I don't want male and female to intermingle. No. I want male to be male. Rough and tough, and female to be female, soft, loving and caring. Male, I want them to be tough love. Female, I want to be, I want them to be soft love. I don't want anything in between. I want two genders to get polarized for diversity's sake. It's both conservatism and liberalism coming together. Okay? It's about diversity, that's liberalism. And it's about male being male, female being female. It's about conservatism. Okay? So I'm the only person who can combine, who can unite this divided country of America. Okay? Because I understand where they're coming from. I'm running for president in 2020 November, okay? If you want me to be the president, I give you an option, okay? Vote for me. You're not gonna see me my name in the ballot because I'm nobody. But you can write down my name there. Scratch out all these shenanigans names like President Trump, okay? Vice President Joe Biden. It's just scratch out their name and write down my name. Then I'll be your president next year, all right? I'm doing the best I can to save this world, to better people's lives, to educate them, to bring a better future for the future generation, your kids, your grandkids. I am doing every single in my power to make that happen, right? You take five minutes to write this. You go vote for somebody else, go ahead, do it, okay? And uh, I'm okay with that. Why? I respect your freedom, your rights, all right? I do my best to save the world and if it doesn't happen, well, that's not, that is not my fault. Why? I did my job. It's limited liability concept. All right. I do my best and there are things that's beyond my power. Well, that's fine. Why? I did my best. The rest is up to somebody else. If things go wrong, it's not my fault. So I don't I will not get punished for that. Alright. I will just fine. Why? Because I didn't commit any sin in humanology. Yeah, die dualism, right? You commit sin and in Christianity too. You commit sin, you get punished. You do good, you do your best, you give it your best shot, you get rewarded, all right? I gave it my best shot. I'm running for president of the United States this year. 
November 2020. Because I do have 2020 vision for America and the world. I'm an official candidate. I, that's what I can do. Yeah, I can vote for myself. Right? I'm running for president. I'm officially registered. Right? But it's not up to me to become president or not. It's up to Americans. Okay? I, I appreciate their freedom rights. Okay? So, America, next year, will get what they deserve. Right? If they don't vote for me, if they vote for Vice President Trump, and Vice President Joe Biden or President Trump, well, that's what they will get. Okay? Perhaps America is not ready for a leader like I am. Maybe they don't deserve me yet. That's fine. Okay? I did my job. I'm running for president. I'm giving them a choice. Maybe they are not ready for a good leader like I am. Maybe they don't deserve a leader like I am. Uh, that, that, that's okay by me. Why? I do my best. And that's it. I wrote this essay. Submit to national article. I mean national magazine. If they don't take it, that's fine. Why? I did my job. Limited liability, okay? The rest, well, is their problem. I'm fine. Why? Because I did my job. I did the best I could. I gave the best I could. So, I'll be okay. Why? I believe in God, His fairness. It's not going to punish me. Why? I did everything I could. I'm doing mathematics. I do my job Monday to Friday. Saturday and Sunday, I do mathematics. Human analogy. I write articles, submit to papers, journals, magazines. I'm running for president. But that's all I can do. I do everything I can do in my time, money, power, the little that I have. The rest is up to other people. I don't have any control whether they select my article, whether they accept my journal submission, or whether they would vote for me in November 2020 this year. That's, that's something I cannot control. I just do the best I can. So God, please remember, I have done everything I can in my money, power, time, the little that I have, I gave it all. Everything I know, I said all of them. All my knowledge and experience and observations, I said right here in the Human Knowledge Series, Google YouTube. Nobody's watching it. That's not my fault, God. Nobody's watching this. That's not my fault. People just don't want this. I, I cannot control that, their desire, their reluctance reservation. I appreciate, I respect their disagreement. I get it, their freedom. But I cannot control their desire, their free will. By the way, I want to appreciate First Lady Hillary Rodham Clinton, that God-given talent. is just beautiful phrase. She should get some accreditation for that, okay? Mentioning that, right? No, God-given talent. Okay, how about God-given free will? 
God given free will. Okay, I cannot control that. God, you gave people free will, so they are beyond my control. Okay, so nobody's watching this human race series. Okay, but I did the very best I could. Okay. All right. Let's take five minutes break. Method acting, okay? We are just acting. Short film, short story, okay? Soul injection method, like intermingling between reality and fiction. Okay, just method acting, okay? So, all right, because I'm an actor, all right? We take five minutes, 10 minutes.
Okay, we are back. You know, we're gonna have to finish this off pretty soon because my dinner is getting ready. I have to get back to work tomorrow and... Okay. Yeah, so... So Jesus said, yeah, the Jewish son of God, <laughs> Mr. Jesus. Yeah, it's cold outside, okay, that's why I'm shivering. It's not like I was repulsed by Jesus. No, we admire Jesus, okay. And personally, I do believe he's son of God, okay. So I'm Christian, all right. Maybe I was brainwashed. Okay. Sure. We we'll get back to mathematics tomorrow. I'm not in any with really enough service to mathematics tonight. Okay, so this evening we we'll put this whiteboard behind us. Okay, just like we always do, All right? Uh, we we'll continue on tomorrow. And cultural commentary. Okay, so. Mr. Jesus said once, when somebody asked him, Hey, Mr. Jesus, is it okay to pay tax to this Roman Emperor Caesar? And Mr. Jesus said, Hey, I'm Mr. Jesus, the son of Jewish God. Yeah, I'm descendant of Abraham and descendant of David and Judah. Yeah, I'm like this pure bred, this pedigree Jew, like paper Jew, like pedigree, this. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Jesus, would you please answer your answer my question, please? Oh yeah, I'll answer you. Yeah. Give God what belongs to God, and give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Okay, Mr. Jesus, what does that mean? I don't know. I am. Go figure, okay, I'm just carpenter's son, okay. And uh, I'm also son of God, so uh, I don't think I need to spell it out for you because I'm busy. I'm Jesus Christ, the Savior. <sighs> the Savior. Mr. Jesus. Okay, Mr. Jesus. Perhaps you don't know what you're talking about? Oh, no. I, I know what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is I'm busy. I'm son of God. I'm like this rock star. I got to go to concert and all my groupies. I have to sign my autograph and my book that I wrote, dictated rather, Bible. Oh, that's the bestseller. So I got invitations to all these events. I'm celebrity internationally, historically, across age, ages, genders ideologies, cultures, time and space. I'm so busy, I don't have time to answer your question. I gave you a hint. So go figure, okay? That's all I can tell you. Okay, Mr. Jesus, yeah, I go figure, okay? Thank you for your time for me. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go in peace. Okay, Mr. Jesus.
the worst human logical interpretation of that. Give God what belongs to God and give Caesar Emperor of Rome, Roman Empire. Give him what he what belongs to him. Yeah, pay the tax, right? And that's what I did this morning, okay? I said in this essay which may or may not be published, I don't care, okay? It doesn't matter to me. It's irrelevant, okay? Because I wrote this essay the way I saw fit and I liked the way it came out. Yeah, the sentences flow so flawlessly. I really liked it, okay? So, yeah. Whether they publish it or not, I don't care, okay? It's their problem, okay? I put the, the ball to the other court, okay? So, uh, to the other side. So, I did my job and that's it. Limited liability, okay? It's, whether they publish it or not, it's irrelevant, all right? I did my job and that's it, okay? But it, I really like the way it came out. Okay, so yeah. I said, yeah, fear of the unknown, right? Fear of the unknown when the very first HIV AIDS virus came out in San Francisco, early 1980s, America, San Francisco, California, okay? That's how homophobia started. Okay, back in 1980s, it was not like today. People did not like LGBT members, right? Yeah, they got bullied upon and they got hated. But nowadays, they are admired LGBT members. They have humongous political power, right? But back in early 1980s in America, it was not like that. It was the opposite, polar opposite. They were very unpopular minority, LGBT people, okay? So the AIDS virus, HIV, so they took all the blames, even if they didn't have any HIV. Guilty by association, guilty by Similarity. That's what many Asians are going through in this year 2020. Yeah, Mr. President Trump, he called coronavirus Chinese virus, right? What's he gonna do next? Is he gonna call it Asian virus? To put blame on all us Asians who don't have any coronavirus? Come on, right? Yeah, that's the some present that you have. Okay, so you're gonna re-elect him again come November to 2020 when I am running for president in this year, 2020, against President Trump, against Vice President Joe Biden. Hmm? It's up to you. I, I respect your freedom, your rights, your constitutional rights. You Americans, okay? Yeah, I'm okay either way. Right? I'm just saying. Just because. President Trump, Vice President Joe Biden, yeah, they're old male Caucasian, right? With establishment connections, experiences. Okay. Just because they are mainstream majoritarian big figure celebrities, and just because I'm Asian, obscure, yeah, unproven, perhaps inexperienced, sure. But look at Mr. King Solomon. Was he experienced? 
No, all he had is wisdom because he asked for it to God when God asked him. Hey, I'm God. Oh, you Prince Solomon, Prince Solomon, what do you want? And Mr. Solomon, Prince Solomon said, Oh God, I want wisdom. I don't want money, power, fame, S E X. I just want wisdom. And God said, Oh yeah, I like what you I liked your answer, okay. I like your answer, okay? Yeah, I will give you wisdom and not only that, I give you money, power, fame too. Okay, God, how about S E X? Oh, well, I have to think about that, okay? I'll get back to you, okay? <laughs> acting. I'm writing creative writing, acting, filming, short film, short story, novel. That's all this is, okay? Just fantasy. Present your fantasy, okay? Okay? So, a two-page essay, right, about coronavirus situation, okay? I also said pretty much the same thing I said here, all right? Yeah, I mean, if I'm in front of this international TV camera crew, yeah, I start dancing. I will start singing this Eagles, ex-Eagles lead singer. All she wants to do is dance, 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 okay? So, and I start dancing. And after that, I will start doing push-ups and sit-ups and running, standing still, but running in place, right? Let me show you, okay? Running in place, okay? Like this. Ooh. Ooh, I'm running in place. Okay, and yeah, push-ups and sit-ups, okay? Yeah, that's what I would do. Coronavirus is so... There's no such thing as coronavirus, okay? There's no such thing as coronavirus, okay? If there is coronavirus, well, it's been there for a long time, okay? They used to call it flu, all right? So why do they panic? Yeah, maybe some mutation, okay? Maybe this coronavirus mutated and it got 10 times, 20 times, 30 times stronger. I get it, okay? Yeah. It became more fatal. I get it. But I would take this advantage. I would take this opportunity to strengthen America and the world. Yeah, to diet, exercise. Long dancing, martial art, exercise, long push-ups, sit-ups, learn how to run. Okay? Yeah, I know. Yeah, China. Yeah, it came from China. And Chinese people, they drink alcohol, they smoke cigarettes. They have Confucianism, Taoism, Lao Tzu. They do martial art there, but they still got coronavirus. So obviously, martial arts, Confucianism, Buddhism, Chinese philosophy, martial art, diet, exercise, maybe it just doesn't work. Ha ha! You humanologist, you have been proven wrong. Well, uh, May I say some retort, if I may? Would you let me? No! You lost. You've been proven wrong. You've been disproven. By counter-example. Coronavirus came from China. And you're Asian. You've been advocating for all this Chinese martial art, Kung Fu, Taoism, Confucianism. But people are dying. And this coronavirus came from China. 
So yeah, I, I get it. Okay, so can I say something? No, we'll silence you. Okay. I'll just keep on drinking then. Okay. I don't have to say anything. You don't have to listen to me. No problem, okay? I'm easy, alright? Yeah. Just say the word, okay? I keep my silence. No problem. I know how to comply, how to obey. Like God, Jewish Bible, He said He's Alpha and Omega, right? He can be Alpha type, Omega type, Lido, Levi, Lido, Pharaoh, yeah, Alpha and Omega, Yin and Yang, positive and negative, night and day, sun and moon, okay, yeah, just the idealism in human life. So are you thinking about going to China to be to be their defense lawyer? Uh, I mean, I I prefer being in America because I love American freedom. Are you thinking about going to Russia? Is that why you are run, run, learning Russian nowadays? Well, I pref again, I prefer to be in America because I love American freedom, but. Uh, if America uh, do not want me here, then I have to leave because I'm not going to fight them. I don't have time for fighting. I have better things to do, like mathematics and humanology and all economics. Okay. Okay. How would you defend China then? Well, what I'm saying is China, they did it wrong. They eat too many strange animals. Okay. They should stop doing that. All these natural animals, Chinese people should just leave them alone. Okay, if you are, if they are gonna eat some animals, they should stop farming them, as opposed to poaching them, smuggling them, paying for them. Wild natural animals, if they are gonna eat them, they should farm them, as opposed to poaching them, killing them extinguishing them okay so in my opinion this coronavirus is God's scourge God's punishment lesson that God is trying to teach China about their bad cultural historical tradition eating wild animals they're extinguishing wild animals They should stop doing that. Po encouraging poaching, illegal hunting, eating all these strange animals. They should stop doing that, Chinese. Okay? It's a very toxic, poisonous tradition in China. Okay? No cultures, no country is perfect. In America, you have tattoo piercism, sugar fetishism. Sugar fetism is what's killing Americans. Tattoo piercism is what's making America ugly. Sugar fetism is what's making America ugly and unhealthy and that's what's killing America. Aesthetically and ph physiologically is tattoo piercism, sugar fetism and yes, ultra interracialism. Ethnic men going after a beautiful young white slender caucasian fertile ladies that's what's killing america okay and president trump he hired those people those guys ethnic men they are in his family too okay Ultra interracialism, sugar fetishism, marijuanaism, tattoo piercism, sugar fetishism, tattoo piercism, marijuanaism, ultra interracialism, gayism, yeah, LGBTism, that's very bad idea, ideology. Okay, genital mutilation, trans 
in the name of transgender therapy, transgender surgery. What are you guys doing? Doctors, MDs, genital mutilation. In 20, year 2020 in America, genital mutilation in the name of transgenderism, LGBT, right? You've LGBTism, okay? I oppose that. I object, okay? It's not gonna work. Not in the long term, okay? If you ask me, it's ideological bubble. It's gonna pop, alright? You'll be gone with the wind. That will be my prediction. I could be wrong. But if you ask me, that will be my prediction. Ultra interracialism, ethnic men going after beautiful young Caucasian white, slender, pretty, fertile women, alright? That's bad. Catopiacism bad, marijuanaism bad, gayism bad, marijuanaism bad, sugar fetishism bad, alright? That's what I can tell you. I just exercised my first amendment, US federal constitutional right of freedom of speech. All right? Yeah. Because I still believe America should be America and American constitution is a good constitution. Okay? Thank you. Good night. Bye.